Right now we are at the garden. Let me show you. We are entering a botanical garden, Howrah. So this is the entryway. And it is just 5 minutes or 10 yeah, minutes from um, the second UGD. Actually, it's uh, 15 minutes from real city of Kolkata. And this is the entrance at the ticket counter from where you can buy the entry tickets. Which will be uh, around rupees 10 for um, Indian nationalized uh, Indian nationalized people and uh, then foreign, for foreigners it is 100 maybe. And there are some charges for camera also. There is the ticket counter. Okay, so we are entering the park, the garden. But we are not supposed to bring plastics here, so be aware of that. Do not carry any kind of plastic bags here. Um, because they are, these guys are not allowing that. Actually, there are many more gates uh, to enter this park. There are uh, several others, but as our home is nearby, then uh, that's why we selected this one. This park is founded by uh, Colonel Robert Kidd in 1786. That means this is old enough. Um, as in for 250 years like this is almost 109 hectares of land there are uh, around 12,000 leaf plants here and uh, they have a herbarium which consists of more than 2500,000 plants the famous tea of Darjeeling uh, and Assam, which is uh, world famous tree brands, those are introduced here only by British uh, colonial officers. Mainly this land, they, they have found this land for uh, cultivating the commercial plants like tea and all. But then they... Uh, seen a vast variety of uh, plants in this region so they eventually transformed it uh, into a botanical garden right now this is under uh, government of india forest department they are maintaining it this space is so calm and quiet i'm not feeling like talking anymore This place used to call uh, Royal uh, Botanical Garden uh, during the British Empire period of India. There are so many trails we can follow uh, but right now we are following the straight ahead trail and uh, in 2009 this place is named after uh, a Bengali famous polymath. Uh, Jagadish Acharya Jagadish Chandra Bosch. And the most uh, nice part of this place is this place is so huge, you know, so huge that uh, you can find your own certain spot over here. There is very pleasant, sky is blue. And there is sunshine. Let me show you. My backside. The park's edge. The river Ganges here. So the 
Breezier is quite nice. This is a single tree. Can you believe that? Looks like so, like a whole forest. I don't think no one can find the, the original trunk of the tree, tree right now because it is so vast. I cannot even show you the uh, whole tree at one glance. Like it's almost like a 180 degree span in my camera. And the board says... Uh, the trees occupied around 18,918 square meters. That's huge, actually. It's so big. And that all the trunks here are just a single tree. It's unbelievable. There are orchid growth in the branch there, over there. It's world uh, second largest canopy, natural canopy. And that's from only a single tree. Every tea tree is uh, number plated here. I think that's how they keep the count of the tree, the living species within the park. It's nice. That's another one. This place is actually really so calm and quiet. And when the breeze flows, there are sound of trees and dried leaves, birds. That is really peaceful. I think aged people, aged people can hire uh, the battery cars from some gates. That facility is also available here because the park is so huge, uh, one cannot like roam around. It will take hours to complete the whole botanical garden. serenity inside the hassle bustle of the city you can come here and spend some time
may be alone may be with your loved ones may be friends family you can sit here peacefully quietly enjoy the trees chirping of the birds let it be the morning time or the evening it doesn't matter the place is beautiful always it's like a cut out forest for you sun is setting the birds are returning to home there are so many parakeets we have found here so that's all for today this is our bee garden trip bye bye